Hey, oh, wow. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. It is June the 11th. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. Today, we're talking about why success is so difficult. Why success is so difficult right after this. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, hello there, everyone. Hello again. Good morning. Welcome back. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. If you would do me a favor when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay. Now, I heard yesterday, first of all, let me say, nothing is as exciting to a, a, a content creator like me than to meet somebody out in public and they say, hey, I was listening to your show and well, that's pretty awesome. I heard several of those yesterday and I don't see any comments from you here live or on the replay. So, now I know who you are, I'm going to hunt you down. <laughs> if you're watching live or you're watching in the replay, be sure to leave a comment and say hi, good morning, hello, whatever is appropriate uh, for you in the space where you are, just like Gail and Joe have already done. See, they've broken the ice. You can jump right in there and do that yourself. Uh, and then when we get to the end, if and only if you get value out of our time together, I would appreciate the hearts, likes, thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening today. All right, so why is success so difficult? So for the last, I've kind of been on this kick the last couple of days talking about um, the, the indicators that you're on the right path, right? So, so Sunday afternoon, Sunday sometime, I, I put a post on Instagram about fear and how, how fear is just our mind telling our body to pay attention, right? And so fear is a great indicator that you're on the right track. Risk, we talked about risk yesterday, how something can seem pretty risky, but the reality is that risk is another good indicator that you're on the right track greater rewards come from taking greater risks, right? So risk is a great indicator that you're on the right track. Today I want to talk to you about difficulty, why things are hard, right? There's a couple of reasons. I mean, for all human beings, we have this um, need, it, it's a need, really, it's a need to be proud of ourselves and our accomplishments. And when we understand that something is not difficult, we don't reward ourselves very well. Let me try and say that a different way, the, the opposite way. When we understand the difficulty of what we achieved, we reward ourselves better. You know, I worked in a company at, at one time and we were doing some research to try and find out why the members of the, the tech department never wanted to compete for employee of the month and there were a lot of contributing factors to that but one of them was and, and you know we got some really honest feedback one one of the pieces of feedback was I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not interested in the approval of someone who doesn't understand how hard it was to do what I did so it meant much more to them to have one of their peers say hey you did a great job than to have the president of the company say, hey, you did a great job, right? You can probably relate to that too. I think we all can at some point where, you know, we've done something and we look at it and think, oh, that's not my best work, right? Or you look at it and think, wow, that's, that's really something. Who can I tell about that, right? So that's kind of this human nature thing that is in all of us. Uh, but there's something else that kind of plays into this kind of topic or theme we've been working on this week. The difficult things, they're difficult for a reason. And it's not to keep you out as much as it is to filter out the people that don't want it. You know, Randy Posh 
uh, wrote a great book and did a, a, a great lecture. It's on YouTube called The, the Last Lecture. Uh, he was a professor at Carnegie Mellon. And one of the things that he says, one of the quotes I use from that talk very frequently is that, that the walls are not there to keep you out. The walls are there to help you prove how badly you want it. So when we come across something that's difficult, something that requires our best and highest effort, yes, we're going to gain some personal satisfaction from that, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we're also going to gain the, the reward that lies behind that, right? The, just like the greatest rewards are hiding behind the greatest risk, the greatest rewards are also hiding behind the greatest difficulty. You know, my granddad used to say all the time, if it was easy, everybody would do it. He had a different voice than that. But if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? If you want to have the things that nobody else has, then you have to do the things that nobody else will do. All right, that's it for today. Hey, quick uh, encouragement, reminder, it is Tuesday. That means it's radio show day today. I'll be on the radio, WTKIRadio.com at the top of the hour. Uh, if you're in Huntsville, you can listen live over the air, 1450 AM, 1053 FM. Or the very best way to do it is just go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. You can join the live stream and the chat. You can watch, you can listen, and contribute. So I would love it to see if uh, you would join me there. Love to see you there. All right, that's it. In addition to the radio show, be back here again in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. One or two of those places I hope to see you. All right? Talk to you soon.